Hi everyone! So I'm here today to show you guys a little bit of some skincare essentials that I've really liked and been using recently and just some things that make your skin feel really warm and not really warm, but um, like really fresh and clean and just moisturized, especially around the winter time when your skin tends to get dry and crusty. So let's get on and start the video. So my first favorite skincare routine is this Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream Rinse Off Formula. This is actually in the um in the travel size but yeah I really like it and it just is clinically formulated allergy tested and 100% fragrance free so um, my skin tends to be a little bit sensitive so it really works well it you just get about um, I mean obviously more than that but and it just it's really kind of creamy and it has a more of a creamy consistency than like a harsh um, kind of beady consistency that'll hurt your skin a little bit and so yeah so you just rub it around like this onto your skin until you get it into like a lather and then it'll start to um to just kind of like exfoliate your skin and it feels your skin feels so fresh and clean and soft after you take it off and it's not like red which I tend which some um uh, exfoliators tend to do that to my skin, especially since it's sensitive. It makes it like red and it's just not very, it just doesn't feel very good. So yeah, and then what I like to do to exfoliate even a little bit more is just get some warm water on a towel and then you just rinse that off or onto your face to take it off. It also exfoliates your skin just a little bit more, but it's also a good way to take off that off. Okay, my next favorite is this Clinique Youth Surge SPF 15. A moisturizer it's allergy tested and 100% fragrance free and I know I don't really need this um because obviously I'm young but I feel like it just um it kind of just moisturizes your face just enough and um, it has SPF 15 in it and I feel like this is the only moisturizer for me that really I can like it's lightweight enough that it's not like making my skin feel greasy because I don't like that but it also just like um I can go outside and I can feel like my skin is being protected from the sun and harmful UV rays. So I really like this and I really recommend this product. I know it is also the travel size and I have hit pan on it, but that just shows you how much I like it and will continue to use it. My next favorite is this Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. And it's really good because it has salicylic acid in it. Um, sometimes it depends on your skin type but salicylic acid can be very drying to some skin types so you definitely have to be careful um if you use it on your skin type because it can for some people with really sensitive skin um it can tend to like dry up too much to make your skin kind of crusty and that's not very um pretty or it just hurts too and so you have to definitely try it out with your skin um it does work on my skin and i feel like it, it says that it works overnight i think two days technically if you put it on morning night for two days I think it my blemishes go away really fast so I really like this product um yeah so and also make sure that you don't spread it like with your fingers because then you can um transfer whatever acne you have to like a different spot on your face and that can just cause more acne so what I like to do is use this little like q-tip jar that I got and you just put little q-tips in it and then you take one out and you squirt it onto there and then you just put it wherever your acne is and then you switch it around squirt it onto this side put it there and then use another one because um it's not good that way you preventing spreading acne around your face and yeah it's just a cleaner and healthier way to do that Okay, my next favorite is this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. And I know this isn't really like a skincare washing kind of thing, but this is so much better than a foundation. Guys, like honestly, if you are constantly clogging your pores with foundation, it's really not helping your skin. Even if you have like dry skin or really good skin, it's in it really does not help your skin. It does no good to your skin. And if you have good skin, why would you put on foundation anyway? I just don't understand that. So, um, I understand if you have discoloration, which is what I normally have, just like around my cheeks, it gets a little bit red. And so I just use this tinted moisturizer and it has SPF 20 in it. So it's protecting your skin from harmful UV rays and it's not clogging up your pores. It's just a moisturizer. It's really lightweight. It looks like this. It definitely gives you coverage, but it keeps your skin, it, it gives it like a dewy, velvety look without clogging up your pores and um, just really hurting and you'll be really sad if you 
hurt your skin that much. Okay, my next favorite is this Feeling Beautiful Facial Clay Mask um, in the cut in the scent, I guess, avocado and oatmeal. And it is so good. It comes out kind of like this. It's kind of like this green consistency. It's really kind of thick. And normally I don't like thick things. I really like lightweight things. But it dries onto your hand perfectly. and Or onto your skin perfectly. And it doesn't make it... Um, you just blend it in. It's really creamy. And then you just take it off once it's um, dried. And it leaves your skin so soft and moisturized. And it does not leave it like like harsh and it just I really like it it's really great and it has um it has worked really nicely for my skin so I really like that again that is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial um, Clay Mask and Avocado Oatmeal okay my next thing is my everyday face wash and this is I got this at the dermatologist so I don't really know if you, these both of these things um all the other things are drugstore slash like Clinique and all that kind of stuff, but these are from the dermatologist, so I don't really know where, um, I don't, I think you would have to go there to get it, um, from a pharmacy or something, but this is the, um, sodium sulfasamide and sulfur cleanser, and it works really, really well for me. Sulfur, um, it has 5% sulfur and 10% sulfacetide and I guess the rest is sodium but yeah it goes all together and it kind of comes into this lather and it makes your skin um, feel so soft and moisturized after it's over and it really clears up my acne too if I have any blemishes or anything like that it really um, clears that up really fast so I really have liked this face wash it's worked really well for me and I definitely recommend it um, okay my next one is this topical lotion and, again, this is from the dermatologist, um, so, yeah, I got prescribed it. I don't really use it that much because I don't really feel like I need to, but, um, sorry, I'm just going to wipe that mask off. But, um, it really does work well. It's just really kind of watery consistency, like, as you can see, it kind of drips around. But, um, it definitely feels good on your skin and just kind of moisturizes it in the morning and anything like that. So, yeah, I really like this product and I think it works really well. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my skincare things, but just to a couple other things is a glass of water. Um, I don't think anybody realizes how good water is for your skin. It just cleanses out every part of your skin. It um every time you if you drink eight glasses of water a day, I guarantee you your skin will get better. It just takes all the toxins and oils into your skin and just cleanses out your body. It is so good for you and it's filling, so it kind of works as a diet thing too. So I really like um that and I think it's really good for your skin. Okay, so that is all I have for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment below of you guys' favorite um, skincare routines or anything that you like also. All right, bye.